because today this is, this is my really up close and personal and generic ass uh, raw, the first raw of 2013 rant, recap, whatever. However, through most of the show I was uh, actually updating things and uh, talking to my friends, but of course you had a big show against Kofi Kingston. I'm not quite sure why that was happening. I was a little confused with that maybe. I haven't watched wrestling for a couple weeks. Well, I, I got last week, but I missed the week before that. Since Punk's been injured, it's been kind of like, Bleh, whatever, the, the Shield's been cool to watch, but even most things run the gamut and, and run out of steam eventually. So, of course, Big Show knocks Kofi Kingston out. That was a short match, whatever. Who gave a shit about that? I did not. Um, I was primarily watching Raw tonight for the CM Punk and Ryback match from TLC that didn't get to happen. And I said I was going to, I figured it was either going to be one, I knew The Shield was going to come in and he was going to retain because it was always going to be CM Punk and The Rock at the Royal Rumble which I believe CM Punk will go over The Rock at the Royal Rumble because um, The Rock went over John Cena, and uh, The Rock also, I believe, um, did The Rock beat Hogan? Oh boy, that's, that's factual evidence I need to look up. So anyway, I think that's what's going to happen. So the match between Ryback and um, CM Punk and the TLC match the match and the match. I say match a lot. Just pretend it's a comedy routine and it'd be a lot funnier. Well, you could just thumbs down the video altogether. I don't give a fuck. But anyway, it was there were spots in the match that hurt me to watch. I mean, you saw Paul Heyman outside. And, uh, poor Paul. Wish he would tone down his his, his <laughs> admiration of Punk a little bit. It's starting to get a little on the uh, maybe he's his man crush is a little too much. Whatever. Anyway, there were some spots that were just brutal. And uh, Ryback suplexing CM Punk on the ladder, that sucked. And then even on the strap of the ladder that holds it together, that makes it fold, that no, nobody does that. And he just bounced off of it. That was that was horrible. But all the table spots were bad. Both guys were stiff on each other. And, and that was definitely a, a hardcore match to have. Your, your debut back ma match after an injury is that type of match. I mean... It's that's almost just like let's get injured again, which I think that his surgery was probably pretty minor, but required some recovery time, and he did play it up. But that's part of Punk's angle. You know what? I don't even think we're going to talk about any of the other matches. I'm going to talk about because the last hour of the show was pretty much uh, promos and whatnot cut by Punk. Punk's promo or his <laughs> his. Uh, sort of making fun of everybody for liking the things that he did and telling them that, you know, I sucked you in for money and blah, 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 and all this other shit and talking about the pipe bomb. To me, that, if you could, you could even define that as a pipe bomb, it's like, but he's right, it's honesty. And it's what we used to say about punk rock, man. People are like, well, I'm a punk. And I'm like, but how can you say that? Because you dress a certain way or you look a certain way now. It's, 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 it's all about your attitude and, and, and how you live your life. And being honest, if you want to call that a pipe bomb, it's a pipe bomb, and he's just being honest. Something you can't fake. And he is right. Maybe some of those other guys that said, I did it for the fans, are lying. They did it for the money. They did it for themselves, their own egos. I mean, when you perform, I, I love to perform my music. I perform it for the people but I do it. If I wasn't doing it for myself, I wouldn't do it at all because there would be nothing for me out of it. But if people enjoy it. That's cool. The thing that I'm not digging is, and this is why one, this is why the Punk will go over the Rock because the Rock can't keep up a, a heavyweight. He can't keep up a world champion schedule. Not he. They can't pay him enough money to wrestle as much as Punk does. Punk makes buckets of money. But they can't pay The Rock nearly what it would take for him to carry the belt at all. Or even rob CM Punk of this long of a reign. They wouldn't invest this much time into Punk just to drop it to The Rock. What's the point in that? Unless Ziggler came out cashed it in, cashed in and got it from The Rock. But then that doesn't make sense. Because then why wouldn't you just put Punk over The Rock? Solidify Punk as a legend. He already is. And that would shoot him into the Hall of Fame for sure. Rock's gimmick and, and his jokes are so 
this is and this is why I hate John Cena too, is because they're so in the Attitude Era up to about two thousand two. It was cool. It was funny. But even like towards the end, I started hating The Rock. I mean, the face and everything. But I was like, who cares about the strudel and your silly jokes and about testicles and penises? You, I mean, it's pandering to the crowd to me. It, that's a mark. That's what the marks go there for. The marks go because they want to. They want to hear him say, you know, if you smell finally The Rock, blah blah blah. But, but Punk is speaking the truth. And him taking the rock bottom was just, you know, retribution from July for the GTS, which is way more brutal than the rock bottom. And I'll leave it at this, and that will be my Royal Rumble prediction is, um, and uh, Punk's going to go over the rock for sure. Um, who's wrestling for the, the, the title? Like, is it Sheamus? And I don't even know. That's how much I care about anything else. And the Royal Rumble, I don't even know who would win the Royal Rumble. Let's see here. Well, I'm going to go out on a limb and say it's not going to be John Cena. Um, but I bet it will be... I don't know. I guess we'll just have to wait and see who's the next big superstar that's coming up. Wait a minute. Let me cry back. Anyway, the end, Raw, this sucked. The best part was the TLC match and the promos at the end. So if uh, you haven't watched it and you got a DVR, just fucking skip straight to the last hour of the show. Save yourself some time. This is on the border. Ow.